lovely people in YouTube land. I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the Lifestyle Blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today we are making a southern classic cornbread. This is such a classic dish, so amazing with chili, um, or as a side for really anything, or frankly, it's so good you could just eat it on its own with maybe a little bit of salad on the side. Um, it's incredibly easy to make, so tasty, and I have all of our ingredients laid out here. So follow along as we make cornbread. We have one cup of cornmeal, one cup of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of corn flour, two eggs, one cup of milk, one cup of buttermilk, we have two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of salt, we have half of a teaspoon of baking soda, and then we're using one tablespoon of canola oil. You could also use bacon grease in place of the canola oil, um, but if perhaps you don't eat pork, you might wanna just stick with the canola oil. So we're going to start um, by combining our dry ingredients in this bowl here. Now, as a note behind me, the oven is preheated at 350 degrees and I have this two quart baking dish greased. You could also use a 10 inch cast iron skillet if you wanted, one obviously that can go right in the oven, but today we're using um, this baking dish. So in goes the flour, the corn flour, all of our other little ingredients, just pop these all in. Perfect. All right, we're just gonna give these like a nice little toss together and just get these all incorporated. And then the next step is in a separate mixing bowl, we are going to combine our wet ingredients. So just gonna set this to the side, grab another bowl. Okay. And I'm going to start with my eggs and I'm just gonna whisk these and I'm using this tiny little adorable baby whisk today. If you can find things in your size, it makes playing in the kitchen so much more fun. Perfect. Now in goes the milk. Lovely. And the buttermilk, which is just so extra creamy. And then we are going to add in the canola oil, or this is when you would add in the bacon grease in lieu of the canola oil. So we're just gonna mix this all together. So now we are going to fold in our dry ingredients. So we don't want to over mix, so we're just going to plop some in. So plop, plop, plop. And then we're going to fold, literally like fold to incorporate. We're not over mixing this, it would get like, like really tough. We're just gently incorporating. This is like a very gentle, hi, it's nice to meet you, flower, you two egg, that sort of thing. But this is looking pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is move over to our greased, um, and I've used butter, just like buttered um, two quart baking dish, or you would use your cast iron pan right now. And we're just gonna pop it in here. And I like to use the spatula to help get all the goodness off the edges. Let's just pour that in. Here we go, and just kind of smooth this out so it's evenly distributed. Beautiful. Now, we are gonna pop this in the oven again, which has been preheated at 350 degrees, and we're gonna let it cook for 20 to 25 minutes until we insert either like a toothpick or a fork in the middle and it comes out nice and clean. So our cornbread cooked at 350 degrees for 25 minutes, and look at it. It's beautiful, a toothpick went right in and right out again, super clean, and it smells fantastic. Now I'm ready just to cut right in there, slather it with some butter, and just eat it as is, or it would be amazing with a little bit of chili on the side, no matter how you want to enjoy your cornbread, I'm sure you're going to love this absolutely delicious version. So how simple is that? So easy, so yummy, you'll never go back to the boxed version. And there you have it, that's how you make cornbread. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at request at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.